Once again, this is the May Holy Ghost service with the theme, In Partnership with Fire. May the fire of the Holy Spirit bring out the very best in every one of us in the name of Jesus. May that fire deliver to you your testimony tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, it's time for us to take testimonies before we take the live testifiers. We'll go through the online testimonies. And should you be joining this service online from anywhere all over the nations of the earth, you can go to www.rccg.org and post your testimonies. And the Lord will continually bless us in Jesus' mighty name. The first online testimony tonight is from Sister Oluwa Femi Adebambo from Nigeria. In the year 2022, her brother-in-law was kidnapped. She took the handkerchief prayed on by Daddy Gio, raised the handkerchief, praising and praying for one hour. The next day, her brother-in-law and everyone with him in captivity, were miraculously released. The next online testimony tonight is from Sister Omotola from Canada. During the 2023 Holy Ghost Congress, Daddy Gio prayed on handkerchiefs and instructed that we carry the handkerchiefs for interviews. Shortly after, she was called for a job interview. At each stage of the interview, she took the mantle and placed on her lap, trusting God for favor. All to the glory of God. She passed every stage of the interview, and God gave her a new job. From Pastor Oluwa Tobi Oladakbo Amos, from Nigeria. In 2010, after a medical test, he was told that his liver was not working well. He wrote a letter to Daddy Gio asking for prayers. He got the response that he would soon share his testimony. Still believing God, he participated in the special divine encounter in February of 2024 and God touched his liver. He, he went back for test, and he was told every organ in his body is working perfectly well. From Sister Vivian Ayodele Akinola from Nigeria, she had been suffering from series of mental insanity and had been trusting God for healing and deliverance. At the March 2024 Holy Ghost service, God touched her. Today, she's no longer troubled with insanity. The next is from Sister Amona Elizabeth from the United States of America. She joined the July 2023 Holy Ghost service where Daddy Gio gave a word of knowledge that someone asking God for a single open door will receive seven open doors miraculously. A PID dissertation that had been stagnated was revived. She received six prestigious awards. And every health challenges she had suffered was also cleared. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We also have a few testimonies from the old auditorium tonight. From Pastor Mrs. H. O. Ayodele, from RCCG, Help from Above Parish, Lagos Province, 39. For 20 years, she suffered pains in her two legs to the extent that it had become extremely difficult for her to stand. During the solemn assembly, God healed her miraculously after a prayer walk around the auditorium. 
Also, from Mrs. Olubokun Rachel, from Ondo Province 19 in Ore. She was pregnant last year and was very sick. She came to the camp during the workers' meeting, and she was bleeding profusely, and she had thought that she had lost the pregnancy. She vowed to God that she will bring the baby to God for testimony. Today, she has brought a baby, a daughter, Uluwade Milade, to God for testimony. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. We also have another testimony from the United Kingdom from Sister Monica Chiza Amadi. She fellowships in the RCCG Region 33 headquarters in Port Harcourt River State. Her daughter was diagnosed with high hormonal imbalance some years ago. And doctor's report was that it would be impossible for her to be pregnant. She was placed on special medications to reverse the condition. But after a while, she revisited the hospital for further checkup and improvement. But the report was worse. And the doctor said, except she go for brain surgery to correct some cells before she could be pregnant. She became so troubled, but she kept trusting Jehovah overdue to come through for her. And they kept faith alive, looking unto the author and finisher of our faith, the God of our daddy Gio, Pastor E.A. E. Adeboye, eventually showed up. He defied medical report He's cr to prove his creative power. Our daughter gave, by the grace of God, conceived and delivered a baby girl safely. She's given all the glory to our great, great, great God. Hallelujah. Now we have the live testifiers tonight. Praise the Lord. My name is Dikin Ayoyen Kaolagudoy. I was diagnosed of neuropathy, a nervous system disorder. After a series of examination, MRI, CT brain scan, a neurosurgeon advised that there is no cure. So I was recommended to use a drug, pregabalin, which they claim I'm going to use all the days of my life. Um, in August 2022 convention, I came here with the pain. I prayed throughout, but to the glory of God, before the end of the convention, the pain, the electrical shock sensation that run through my spinal cord arm, everything disappeared. Up to today, I've stopped using pregabalin and I've not used and I will never use it again to the glory of God. His name be praised forever. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus, the Master of the Universe. I'd like to start by appreciating our father in the lord his ministry has really blessed me and the elders that labor especially in the world and doctrine the bible says are counted worthy of double honor praise the lord this month is special for me the first of the month is my 20th year wedding anniversary and the last day of the month is my birthday. Even 20 years ago, my brother that was coming for my wedding had an accident. An anchor shift my, my wife got from the camp 20 years ago was sent to him. And the doctors that said he was supposed to do a surgery found that they, don't need the, they didn't need the surgery anymore. From that bed, he was paralyzed, but he got up, he was healed. Praise God. There are so many testimonies that we've experienced, but time will fail me to go on. But recently, during the, convention, during the convention, I couldn't attend because I was battling with some family issues, an inheritance issue. But a, an anointing oil that was taken from here to so the, the church I attend in Wari, Champions Cathedral, when the pastor got there, I knew it was from here because he had 
an, a, a healing service once in a month. It's called the Bam of Gilead service. And he called people who were sick to come out. I was having serious waist pain. And he anointed me. And the pain disappeared. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me, let me, let me. He, he gave us a warning as we were living. The, the, the scripture in John 5, 14. He said, you've been made old. Go and sin no more. Least the worst thing happen to you. But I was tempted. I fell into sin. Let me not be too specific about the sin. And that pain came worse. And I was asking God for mercy. I was praying for mercy. God, I've learned my lesson. Did you keep teaching us about holiness? I've learned my lesson. And I went to another service again in, in January. And it was by Gilead's service. And after prayers, the pastor said those who, are, who were here were to come forward. And I went forward without checking. And he said, and he laid hands on us and he said, go, your healing is permanent. And, I, and later when I checked, the, the pain had disappeared again. Finally. Finally. Let me, let, don't, don't turn the mic on me, please. Finally, I came here for February Holy Ghost service. While I was in Delta, my wife told me that I could do my annual medical test there. And I went to Lily Hospital to do the medical test, and the ECG report came out negative. They said I should see a cardiologist. But I traveled to Lagos, and they were calling me, they were calling me. I took the ECG report to camp, and we prayed. And before the end of the service, as we were about leaving, the geo gave a word of knowledge that there's someone here asking when will I share my testimony and I believe it was me that I was going to be healed but if I when I went to worry the doctor now said if you are doubting let's do another ECG report another ECG uh, test and they did another ECG test and it came out normal this is the negative this is the positive the doctor could not explain it he was saying maybe the wires that they put on me we are wrong in the first place. But I have inside information. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I'm here to testify to the old one that God is still working with our daddy, the general of Asia, or with the Christian Church of God. And I pray that the anointing over him will not run dry in Jesus' name. And I thank my provincial pastor, Pastor Drodo, for his prayer and care. I've been battling with high blood pressure for the past 10 years. I've spent a lot of money on drugs, out to no avail. In the, in the hospital I attend, they told us how to maintain this disease until I die. That it doesn't go. But when I discovered my, 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 my pastor, Pastor Lododo, he asked me to write a letter to the Jew. And I wrote the letter. Few days to the uh, solemn assembly, I got a reply. Daddy lay hand upon, on us. I was expecting him in the miracle. It did not come. But I remember that God says in John 8 and 6 that if the son of man set you free, you are free indeed. Three days after, I did my test. I discovered that the, the high blood pressure had gone. Since that time, I've not used my sins since that time. Who did it? Jesus. Oh. Hallelujah. Please let's give a standing ovation to our great God for this harvest of miracles, signs, and wonders. Let's just shout, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. For instant confirmation of his word, word of knowledge going forth and being confirmed with speed, with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we are grateful and we give you praise. We honor you. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father, because tonight again, like never before, it shall be harvest of testimonies. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. 